A cell membrane is like a soap bubble. All of the materials inside of the cell are contained in the membrane, like a soap bubble contains air. As you saw in the soap bubble investigation, soap bubbles can grow larger and even split into smaller bubbles without breaking. Cells can do that too, because the cell membrane is very similar to soap and can behave like soap. A soap molecule looks like this. One end is hydrophilic, meaning it likes water. Hydro means water, and phile means love in Greek. The other end is hydrophobic, meaning it hates water. Hydrophobic end hates water, in other words, it likes oil. Because water and oil are opposites. They don't mix together, right? The reason you can clean greasy stuff with soap is that the hydrophobic end attaches to oil and you can just wash it off with water. Cell membranes are made of molecules called phospholipids, which are very similar to soap molecules. Remember, a fat molecule is made of one glycerol and three fatty acids. One of the fatty acids is replaced with a hydrophilic molecule called phosphate to form a phospholipid molecule. As a result, a phospholipid molecule has a hydrophilic end and a hydrophobic end, just like a soap molecule. That's why the cell membrane and the soap bubble behave the same way. So whatever you observed in the soap bubble investigation, you can assume that that's what's happening at the cellular level. Because water is the main component both inside and outside of cells, phospholipid molecules get together like this to form a membrane. The cell membrane is therefore called a phospholipid Bilayer. It has two layers of phospholipids.